What? $65 for a parking ticket? Oh! Hate you, NYPD. Hate you. What up, what up? It's your boy, Chef Harold, aka Uncle Harold. And today, we are working with one of my favorite food groups, Spam. One of the greatest things ever made in this country. Spam is an ingredient a lot of people are hesitant to try. So I'm setting out to create a brand new dish to challenge what people think about it. Bam, the new superfood. Yeah, I should be in this commercial, man. Carmel, man, they better call me. This is Spam. Spam is a meatloaf, basically, short for spiced ham. And it's made out of uh, ground pork, ground cooked ham, and pink curing salt. The reason why I say it was one of the best products in America is because you can really feed a whole family with one can of Spam. And it was really such a staple in Pacific Island food, especially in the Filipino community. I love Spam. Pop it out, fry it up, get the nice caramelization, or you can be a savage like myself and just eat it raw at midnight when you come home from work when you're super drunk. The cuisines that's really using Spam a lot is Pacific Island communities, and the Hawaiians, the Koreans, Philippines, obviously, all the Polynesian islands. All right, this is my trick. Spam turns this kind of pinkish color. This is from the curing salt. Curing salt's main purpose is to season, number one, and then number two, to keep it stabilized and keep it fresh. So usually, you don't do this, but I do it because I love Spam. It's just like, Cold meatloaf is really seasoned well. Let's give it some color and see how this looks. And what I like to do is drain it. There's a little bit too much oil. Mmm. Yeah. Can't go f wrong. <laughs> Before I cook my dish, I'm heading out to talk to a chef who has been cooking with Spam for over 15 years. Chef Chung Chow at Norito. So Narita means uh, playground in uh, Korean. My partners and I decided to choose Narita because, you know, as, as a playground, it's kind of where people can come in, enjoy, have fun, be creative, nothing, nothing no, crazy, no. Uh, yeah. not, not, not fancy, you know, just yeah. trying to do good food and for everybody to enjoy. Yeah, where are you from? So I'm, I'm from Hawaii originally, mm -hmm. and uh, I've been in New York since 2004. So you do the math, was that 16, 16, 17, 17 years? Yeah. Well, you know, my, my main thing is once you paid 15 years of taxes in New York, <laughs> you become a New Yorker. Yeah, a lot, taxes, a, lot, a lot of taxes already went out. So. Do you ever run into preconceptions with uh, about spam with the customers here? Either they're pleasantly surprised that it's here, or mm -hmm. they're kind of a little scared that it's on the menu either. So it could go both ways. And what are the two things we're gonna make in the kitchen today? So today you're gonna see a spam musubi, and you're also gonna see a uh, spam pasta made into uh, an yolofa shape. So we use a luncheon meat cutter, and it gives you pretty much perfect slices all the time. Look at that. Wow, look at that. And Spam Musubi, it's kind of like the Spam Sushi of, of Hawaii, Yeah, right? in Hawaii, you just walk around, you know, go to 7-Eleven, McDonald's, and uh, you can always pick up some Spam Musubi and just take it to the beach and eat, eat it as a snack. snack. Huh? Yeah. I you love know, that. Being, being Asian, man, yeah. this on top of rice, that's all you need. Come on, that's all you need, man. Breakfast champions, man. <laughs> so nice. we season our Spam with this. What do you have in there? Soy sauce and uh, kombu. Kombu, okay. Yeah. So we have these molds, you can buy them anywhere, you know. We use uh, a half sheet. Toasted nori. My father-in-law, he was a sushi chef for his whole life, so right? Taught you a little bit of that. Yeah, so he you know, told me about certain things. And I always ask yes, him, right, when you go to a supermarket and you buy generic, you know, like nori, how do you know without buying the brand you like, mm -hmm. which is the good nori? And he said he usually just looks for the darkest one. I'm out here buying the regular and, nori. And by pricing too, yeah. yeah. This is just plain steamed rice. It's just on the very bottom of the mold. And what we do is uh, we'll just baste the spam with the, uh, the soy sauce. Nice brown caramelized spam. This is and this goes right on top. If you want to be a little uh, VIP, a little bit of soy oh, sauce right on top. Man. Come on. Right. The trick is holding it tight. I'll lift it here, roll it, and then you want to tuck it in real good over here so you have a tight wrap, right? So you tuck in the spam here and you roll in, and then I use my knife here to hold this side, and then that's it. And then just kind of clean it up a little bit. So you'll have. That is a spam sushi. Spam. Okay. I mean, this is the fancy spam musubi I've ever seen. All right, Max, what, what else you want? Because I, I want to like grab one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like salivating, bro. Oh my God. 
so clean. Yeah, it's really highlighting the spam. Clean soy, yeah. little extra umami from the kombu. You can taste that nori, wow. right, where it mm -hmm. brings out the whole overall rice. It, gives a, it has a little bit of um, salinity to it too, so it can bring everything together. Huh? A little bit of uh, toastiness in yeah. it. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, chef, this guy's the man right here, right? So in the restaurant, we actually serve Hawaiian Sun, Pog, passion fruit, orange guava. Wow. Spam and Pog, Hawaiian Sun Pog. Come on, man. I feel like you're in Hawaii right now. Shit, I want to go back. All right, so the next thing we do is Spam, Agnolodi. Uh -huh. uh, it's one of those things that uh, I created when we first opened to kind of introduce Spam to people who sure. don't really like Spam. Trying to make it more approachable, put it into a filling with pasta, shaved truffles, you know, all that good stuff, right? Right. And we added the diced Spam because uh, people who liked Spam were saying that they're missing some of that actual spaminess of yeah, the Spam. That's what we were talking about earlier about cooking the Spam brings yeah, out the brings flavor. Out the flavor, right? right? Spam itself also is like farce, you know, yeah. because Spam is a ground product that's been seasoned and right. cured and, and is actually cooked in the can. I didn't have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Spam is cooked can, so the, the meat actually goes in the, right. the, the Spam can raw mm. and it goes into a, uh, you know... A double bath situation. Yeah, fancy steamer, <laughs> boiler right. situation. Whatever yeah. they got over there. Yeah, right? whatever. It costs like $2 million, $10 million to make a steamer, you know. You wow. guys learn more and more about Spam every day. Every f day, man. <laughs> We're just gonna add potatoes. We'll add the mascarpone cheese. We'll add the uh, diced Spam. A microplane, a little bit of uh, lemon zest into this. Just to open up all the flavors. Yep, yeah, just to bring, get a little tang. Oh, it's gonna do a little bit, so I won't worry too much about doing yep. so much. So right now we're just uh, laminating the pasta. We do our sides in up pretty big. And how many pieces per uh, per dish? Uh, we used to do nine. Okay. We're gonna pinch. So now we're gonna now that we made our pasta, we're just gonna cook off real quick. So this is just heavy cream. This comes right out, right into the truffle cream that's been heated up. Found that pickled mushroom right on top. And then we're just gonna shave some truffles. Woohoo! Shave. Depends how, oh, how fancy man. you wanna get. Oh boy. Oh. When I was shy on my truffle uh, shaving, huh, Ben? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> He's gonna put you to shame, man. I thought I made it rain in that motherfucker. Awesome. Look at that. Thank you so much, Chef. It's, it smells amazing. It smells the truffle on there. Wow. You're right about the mushrooms. You need it. You need a little bit yeah. of acid in there. Yeah, it opens uh, it up. Yep, all the richness and a little, it's a little bit. It's little sweet too. Yep. I like that. Off on the mascarpone, I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah. The farce just opens up in your mouth. The saltiness comes a little bit after too. A little bit of sweetness. The cream coats the pasta pretty nice. It's pretty good. And then the truffle just gives it that earthiness that it needs, you know? For someone who doesn't really like Spam, it's an easy introduction. You love Spam and you want to eat <laughs> Spam every time. This is the place, and yeah. I think people should really appreciate it too because it's one of the major food groups, right? Especially in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's rice and spam. <laughs> That's right. You live off of it. All right, Chef, I'm going to head out of here. Thank you for coming by. Thank you, Chef. Oh, man. What the f was that? We learned so much about spam. Got some great ideas and some kind of inspiration. Now we're just going to get into it. We've been working with spam cooking with Spam, tasting with Spam, and I think the dish that I'm gonna make is a Spam beignet. One of the main things that I've learned about Spam from Chef Chow was that Spam should just be used as a pork product in any of the dishes. So anywhere you think you can put a pork product in, you can also put Spam in. Everybody loves donuts. So I decided to make Spam beignet so everybody can fall in love with Spam. A beignet is famous down in New Orleans in a restaurant called Cafe Du Monde. Is a beignet a donut? I don't know, you're gonna have to ask a pastry chef. They're gonna kill me if I say something crazy. Essentially, we're gonna make a beignet dough and then we're gonna fold in some cooked grated Spam. Doing a fine dice of Spam is one of the main things I learned from Chef Chow and will help amplify the spaminess of the dish. We're gonna go ahead and make the diced Spam caramel and then we're gonna make a shrimp and vinegar powder to cut through the sweetness and the fattiness of this dish. We're also gonna make a dulce de leche style dip. I think this will prove a lot of versatility about Spam. If we use Spam as a pork product, you know, I just thought of it as bacon and bacon is great caramelized. Bacon is great toasted and folded into things. So that's how I wanted to kind of incorporate Spam. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our Spam beignets and I'm gonna have Chef Chow come back and taste it. We're gonna go ahead and dice our Spam. We're gonna grate it so we can have this as part of our beignet dough. We're gonna go ahead and saute them out and get some of that caramelization. Now we also have a plate with a cloth in it so we can drain the fat itself so it won't get into our dish. Then we're gonna go ahead and saute this. We're gonna let it sit on one side so we can get some nice caramelization. I want it to be all crispy because it's gonna go in the dough. 
And the idea is this will fold in right into the beignet dough and you won't have these large speckles like the dice would have. So if it's small like this, it'll fold into the dough. You'll have a little speckle of spam all over and we can taste that. Before we make the dough, we're gonna go ahead and make the dosa de leche which is super simple. You'll get one of these canned condensed milk with the pop top, which is the best, right? Go ahead and put it in boiling water. You keep it on medium heat. You'll know when it's ready is when you pop it in like two hours and it has that deep caramel color to it. One thing also with dosa de leche is you have to keep an eye on the water because if you let the water go down, like I did when I used to work at this restaurant called Acme in Soho, uh, during service, it sounds like somebody shot a gun, blew up everywhere. Everybody had dosa de leche all over their jackets. It was it's a mess. So make sure you keep an eye on the water, all right? We're gonna make the dough. First, we're gonna have some lukewarm water and we got some active dry yeast here. We'll put it in the stand mixer. And we're gonna bloom this yeast so our dough is gonna rise. So what we're looking for is when the yeast itself and the water starts having like little bubbles on top and that's when kind of the yeast is activated. So it looks like our yeast is kind of blooming here a little bit. So we're gonna start adding the milk, one egg, extract and the sugar a nice pinch of salt in here and i'm gonna mix this thoroughly i'm gonna add some ap flour what we're looking for is for it to come off the bowl itself and now we're gonna fold our spam in there okay yeah looks great we're gonna go ahead and knead it I see speckles of the spam in the dough itself we're gonna add grease your bowl this dough in here Nice damp towel, and let it proof for two hours in a nice warm space. Let's take a look at our dough. Woo! This is gonna be our dough, and we have to do is we're gonna punch it down. I'm gonna punch it at max, it's only a one time thing, okay? We can't re punch this. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you ready? The yeast kind of made it double. Now we're gonna have a chance to roll it out and make it even size, and then we're gonna cut into squares. My pastry chefs can see me now. This guy's making donuts. And then we're gonna let this reef proof again in the same warm place that we kept the dough itself. While we wait for Spam Donuts to proof, we're gonna go ahead and create our garnishes, our Spam Caramel with maple syrup and brown sugar and some of their diced Spam that we cooked off. What we're gonna do is let this reduce and then uh, get to a place where it's glazy. It's coming together here. Ooh. You wanna add the Spam at this point now because you want this Spam to be coated with this caramel. This Spam looks great. It's like coated, caramelized. That's what we want. Then we're also gonna make a shrimp and vinegar powder that we're gonna do as a dust for our beignets. Dried shrimp is shrimp that's been dehydrated. And this is usually used in Asian cooking to give things a little bit more umami flavor profile. So we just got a little bit of our shrimp. We're gonna go ahead and smash this thing. Get some of your anger out. You know what I'm saying? What, pay for the toll? What are you talking about? This is New York City, why are you gonna pay for a toll? You know, stuff like that. So, I put our vinegar powder here. What we wanna do is still have this kind of like white dusting on top to make it look like powdered sugar. But we want it to have the essence of the shrimp. You can see there's little speckles of shrimp in there. And then, I think we're ready to create our beignets. As you can see, it doubled in size. So we're gonna go ahead and fry. It's gonna be quick, right? So one, two, woo, three, four. We're gonna do four at a time. We don't wanna overcrowd, okay? So all we're looking for is brown color. Look at the speckles of Spam on this thing. This is gonna go on a restaurant menu for real. That's what we're looking for right there. Woo! <laughs> so I'll pull these out. It's great right here. Look at these color of these beignets. I'm gonna go into the next batch. So I'm gonna crowd it so I can start lowering the temperature a little bit more and not burn my beignets, AKA donuts. Beautiful, man. Wow. You too can make spam beignets. Wow. Oof. Yes. Yes. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle just four for now and then we'll do it. We'll put it together for Chef Chow when he comes. Put a little spam caramel on top of this. Oh my God. Fat boy's dream right here, fat boy dream. All right, next we're gonna take out our dosa de leche, which has been cooking for two hours. That's what you wanna look like. This is your dosa de leche dip. Put your spam in your ace. Ooh, oh yeah. Let me hit it with one more little situation. Okay, 
You know, ladies and gentlemen, your spam beignets with dulce de leche dip. Please enjoy, sir. That'll be thirty-five dollars. All right, chef. You excited? I'm super excited, man. This thing looks delicious. Mmm. Yo, you guys are missing out on this. Wow. The Spam Caramel really brings out the Spam flavor, but just like the Annuloti yesterday, it's there, but it's familiar. I would run this as a special at the restaurant and just see what people feel about it, but I'll do one more trial just to see if, you know, maybe spice would be great, or maybe a little bit more unctuous flavor profile would be great, but at this point right here, psh, it's fire, kid, fire. In a Spam level of one to five, Spamminess, I'll give it a hard three. And I think this is a perfect way to do spam to people so they won't feel crazy and they won't feel like they're eating something out of a can. Oh my God, it's I can still taste all of it right now. I'll put this on the menu ASAP. Yeah, we're gonna have Chef Chow come down now and taste this and see what he says about it. Do I just go for it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's great. I love it. It almost reminds me like a Malasadas in Malasada, Hawaii, right? Malasada, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Almost like a Malasadas. Can you explain to the people what Malasada is? And Malasada is like a donut. It's really, really uh, popular in Hawaii. It's right, really reminds me of that. And I love that sweet and, uh, and the salty combination. Mm -hmm. I always love that in all kinds of food I eat. Yeah, so Chef, you think it needs a little bit more Spam or it needs to be a little bit more Spammy? I could always use more Spam, but this is, <laughs> this is, this is pretty good. Pretty ono as, as, yeah. as is though, yeah, but you know. And do you think it's an entrance to kind of demystify what Spam is? Totally. You could just look at this and think, this this is like bacon or mm -hmm. or something, right? right you can't right. even tell that spam. So yeah. there's great use of spam in this one, yeah. Do you think this could go on a, on a restaurant menu? Yeah, I might just steal this idea from you. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time learning from Chef Chow at his great restaurant in the Lower East Side, learning some techniques and also kind of introducing people to spam and how it's not scary. And hopefully we can all enjoy spam the way we do it. So like we always say, remember where you came from, otherwise you become an asshole. Bon appetit. <laughs> I just got some news. Maybe you guys heard this already. New York reaches a deal to legalize recreational marijuana. Let's do it. I'm making so much money, bro. It's crazy. Oh my God. I'm so glad I put that money in. Whoa. Yes. I am going to cake up right now.